Hola guys! I hope you guys had a great weekend and are ready for another week of learning. Welcome to the guided practice for 14.6. All right, now today I want to make sure that you understand the lessons are going to get more challenging as we go through. So please make sure that you are doing them in order and you should have already watched the math movie before you're watching me because that tells you what we're doing for the day and then I'm going to solidify that idea. So please, please, please make sure that you are doing it in the correct order. Otherwise, I notice some of you are having a little bit of trouble on your quick check. All right, so today we are on page 340 of our textbook. You're going to need a piece of paper and a pencil. And our learning target today is, oh, and guess what? It's the first day of June. Happy June. So our learning target today is I can solve a simpler problem to help me solve a complex problem. Complex just means one that is a little bit more challenging or harder. So we're going to solve something easier to figure out a harder one. All right, here we go. In our guided practice, it's a lot like the video, the first one. So this is number one. Lil glued square beads on the shaded part of the frame. What is the area of the part she decorated? Now, before I forget, I know you guys just love writing this down. I'm going to write down our formula so I don't forget it, that area equals length times width. Because remember, that's the easiest way to figure out. And the area, once again, is always measured in square units. And it's also the amount inside of a shape. So it's how much is inside. So the very first thing I'm going to do is figure out what is the area of this entire purple shape. So I'm going to say the length. One, two, three, four, five. So area equals five times and one, two, three, four, five. Five times five. So the area of the purple section square, and I'm not going to forget to put down my units because that would be ridiculous. So my area for the whole purple square is 5 times 5, which is 25 square inches. Now I'm going to figure out what's the area of the little spot in the middle. So if I count that, it is length 1, 2, 3. So area equals 3 times, and going down there are 2. So the area equals 6 square inches. Now, in order to solve this problem, to figure out the area of the purple, I'm going to take my big number, 25, and subtract the little number. So I'm going to take the entire area and subtract this little spot in the middle. So off over here, I'm going to go like this, so that way you guys can see better. 25 minus 6. Let me show you what my paper looks like, because I like to keep it organized, not squish my stuff together. So I've got 25 minus 6 is, good job, 19. So my area equals 19 square inches. And yes, if you don't write square, it is wrong. So please make sure that you are writing square inches. Good job. See, this isn't that hard. Solve an easy problem to solve a hard one. Number two. What simpler pro oops, sorry, wrong direction. What simpler problems did you use to solve exercise one? First, remember our keywords for writing down our mathematical thinking. First, I figured out the area of the hmm, that's actually a square, the whole square say whole square with a w-h-o-l-e the whole square next i figured out or you could say i multiplied that that might sound better than figured out but next i figured out the area of the rectangle inside. 
finally, you guys remember this now? I'm sure you remember this. We've only done it a gazillion times at school. Finally, I subtracted the square minus the rectangle. And remember, I might write a little faster than you guys, so if you need to pause me at any time, please do so. Yeah, so all we did was we did three things. First, we figured out the area of the whole square. Then, next, we figured out the area of the rectangle inside. And finally, we subtracted. Perfect. So, it's, see, it's really not that hard to figure out. A simpler problem to solve a harder one. Let's do another one. All right, we're going to skip number three because that's a write your own. If you would like to make one up for your parents, that could be really fun, especially if you were able to print out the centimeter grid paper. That would be a great choice. Mom and dad would probably get stumped, I bet. All right, number four. Reg wants to put tiles on a wall. Oh, just like in my shower. The shaded part of the figure shows the part he needs tile that needs tiles. What is the area of the shaded part? So what are we going to do? We're going to do the exact same thing. First, let's figure out the entire thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So I know that the area of the whole thing is eight times one, two, three, four. And 8, 16, 24, 32, good job, 32 square, and I noticed that it changed to feet. All right, let's figure out the middle. The area equals, oh, this is kind of an easy peasy one, 2 times 2. Area equals 4 square so once again, I'm going to draw my little doohickey and now subtract. 32 minus 4. And my paper now looks like this. The same thing that we just did. 32 minus 4. Good job. 28 square feet. And let's see, is that a choice? Because this one's multiple choice. And there it is. Your answer is B. All right, boys and girls, that is it for today. Great job. As you move on to the next page, which I really, really highly recommend you do. Sorry, my internet has been a little bit slow for the last two days. It's been a challenge. I want you to notice number six has you subtracting two sections. And then look at down here. There's some more questions in my mind and I, at school, I would expect that you continue to move on. Please go through the next ones. This is what will make you smarter for what's coming. Please, 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 if you have any questions or need my help, please let me know. I am more than happy to call you. I will Zoom with you, and I will help you through all of these. Boys and girls, have a fabulous day, but please make sure that you are doing your math assignments in order. All right, guys, have a fabulous day, and I will see you soon.